Pantay Kapua Lau'i is another classification of plants. Uh, again, it's the plant that regenerates the forest. Uh, Pua Lau'i is that it those it pours in those leaves pours in pour in different colors, in different kinds of leaves. So Ohia is one of those because Ohia those licos come out in different colors. Way they, they, there's fuzzy Ohia, there's smooth shiny Ohia leaves. There's red, there's purple. So the variety of how it pours is is vast. ground and that's what you want see that's the dye well actually the dye is all in the branches too so it follows all over the ground and this is what we try and pull out and so as you can see the dye is inside see the dye is in the skin of the root that and you can see that right now okay so what you guys what I want you to do is I want you to take off these individual branches take all of these off then some of you will be taking all the branches off and cutting it into manageable sizes some of you because I only have one hammer and one sledgehammer you can also use the pick will be crushing the root and the branches because the branches also have a dye in it too and then some of you will be peeling it off because once you crush it it's really simple to peel off okay um we need to do that first For the most part, if you crush the branches itself, the, these things, branches up good enough, we can just throw them in the dye like that because it'll be all smashed. But the roots are really solid inside, so the roots are the ones we've got to take the skin off and then throw the skin inside the dye bath. I already prepared a dye bath, so what you guys are just sort of topping it off with the rest of the poop I made, I guess. Um, when we're powered with that, we need to um, put these in water. Each of you will get one. We'll put it in water and we need to squeeze it up. We need to rinse it off because there's sizing on the outside of the material. Um, they just, it's a chemical they put on all materials before they distribute it so that it will get straight. But we gotta take it off. Okay, or else it won't, the dye won't stay. So you just soak your material in the water and then squeeze it up. So we'll do that for that to be possible. What you have to do first is use the spoon, or you can even use the brushes to crush up the berries. So it looks like this, and then put oil in it. I have more bottles of oil. I put oil in it and stir it up to the consistency you like it to be, and then make designs on your lolly. We're gonna just use tape so you can just make lines. You can also dye with the berries. You need, in order to dye something like this or a little bit bigger, like three yards of, of lolly, you need about a gallon bag of these berries. Um, box, thank you. Dry box, dry them, let it get all dehydrated, and then um, then crush it into powder. Then you have this really lovely purple pigment. But because I don't have that kind of time, we're just going to use the berry as it is. It's good enough because it stains. And then I put use this as an emollient. So this has kukui oil and mineral, so it's it's good. Okay. And an emollient is just something that we use to um, um, thin. Thin out the color and then easier to paint on your lole. 
Okay. And so that's the color it'll come out to. It's lovely. calcium carbonate kind of a thing with what do we're gonna use lime okay so lime you find at your friendly neighborhood garden exchange we can also not use lime we can use vinegar if we use vinegar it'll stay that color which is fine too okay but you know we're good but vinegar I like to soak it a little bit more because we don't have a color in the or maybe it's not. Do we like that color? Do we want, do we want to try a little bit more? No. It, it might get a little bit lighter, yeah. You can try. You like Okay, Oh, 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 yeah.